How is it going today, everybody? And look at this! The new Fortnite Season 8 is here! And with the new season, a whole lot of new questions need to be answered. Yes, Fortnite has yet again updated their quest system. The quest system seems to be very complicated to a lot of people, but it's actually a lot simpler than it seems to be. To get to all your new quests, it's pretty much the same method as we've always done it in the past. You just need to click View Quest right here, and it'll take you to uh, Daily and Weekly Punch Cards. Yes, we have punch cards now. Now, looking at this right now you can see that it appears to be very complicated but it's actually a lot simpler than it appears to be what you got right here are your daily and weekly punch cards now to put it simply these are your daily and weekly challenges that will be changing every day and every week if we go to the right over here clicking the arrow we can see a bunch of characters with a bunch of xp rewards at the bottom of each one each character is a punch card you may have noticed that some of the characters have check marks covering the xp reward that simply means you've already completed the challenge and you've received that xp reward each character punch card has five xp rewards each gradually increasing as you complete each of the challenges that they offer if you scroll down you can see a somewhat familiar menu on the side here you can see all your available quests that you currently have available to you here showcases the select Selection of quests that either you have accepted from other characters or the game has already given you. Sometimes when you've completed most of your quests, the game will automatically give you more quests. That way it'll keep you busy over time. It is important to know that unlike the previous season, you only get four quests available to you. If you are in a party, you have a fifth one available to you. But if you're running solo, you've only got four. Accepting a quest is super, super easy to do. All you need to do Decide which character you want to accept a quest from. In this case, I just picked JB Chimpansky. Click him. Now scroll down on the map. You look around very carefully. And you can see the point in which the character is located. Once you have the character location marked on the map, all you need to do is jump into a, either a solo, duo, squads, or even a team rumble for that matter. Once you have located and made your way to the character, all you need to do is talk to them. You'll see the exclamation point quest symbol. And that is right there is an option for a new quest at that point you just accept the quest and there boom you have a new quest available to you like previous seasons you can see your available quest by simply opening your map and going to the quest tab another brand new feature of this season is that we players now have the option to cancel quests yes if a quest is too difficult or just plain old impossible for us to do it is possible to cancel them doing this is very simple all you need to do is go to your quest menu and click the quest you do not want to do clicking any of the following quests will give you an in-depth description about the quest itself or about the character that the quest is from but there is also an x button in the top right corner all you need to do to cancel the quest is simply click that button remove quest confirm and there you go and before you ask yes you can cancel quests both in the menu and in game simply open the menu go to your quest menu and hit the x button this method is also extremely helpful for when you're completely full on quests and you just want to either swap one out or get rid of one i will point out for each character punch card is essentially a quest line to put it simply this is just a series of quests that you must complete in order to pr progress and earn the xp rewards as you complete each quest the reward will grow bigger i completely understand that this is a lot to take in especially with the updated quests and punch card system if you have any questions about the new season 8 of fortnite feel free to leave a comment i do really try my best to read and reply to every single comment if i don't know the answer to your question i will do my best to point you in the right direction if you did find this video helpful or interesting do leave a like it is very helpful and a fantastic feedback for the channel and if you really enjoy the content you're seeing on the channel i highly recommend subscribing just an easy way to keep in touch with the channel on that note thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye